Hello, everybody. This is Purge, bringing you guys the finals of the WTF ATOD tournament, hosted by Cyborg Matt, of course. Skrillex's anime has made it, as has the team ASD, fighting through two teams apiece to make it all the way to the finals. And I am really excited to see how this match goes, because both of these teams have absolutely stomped the previous opponents so i do not know how this is going to turn out but we will see viper is going to get banned here viper one of the crappiest heroes to have your team huskar is the other one i think probably the two worst um anti-mage is pretty crappy as well but we haven't seen him slip through too much bloodseeker and clockwork both banned by asd they want to let the good heroes through because they want to force their opponents to use it um skrillex gets the final ban and that's going to put asd with a draft so skrillex basically says do I want to play Anti-Mage, or do I want to play Huskar? And I dare say that Huskar is the worst of the two. So, um, if you guys don't know what WTF is, that it's a no cooldown. Actually, they, they opt for the Lone Druid, no Lone Druid. Um, so they are going to have to play Huskar. They should be able to give their opponents an Anti-Mage. Uh, though Anti-Mage does not feed as much as Huskar does. It's the downside. Uh, Lycan is their first choice, and they will give them another in the moment. Uh, WTF is no cooldown, no mana cost for spells. That means there's very, very limited heroes that are useful. Um, or I'm sorry, there's a lot of heroes that are useful, but there's a lot of heroes that are not... There's there's not very many heroes that are not useful. Did I, did I explain that well? Anti-Mage, Lycan are the bands... Or the picks, sorry. That ASD have to pick. Um, Atod, if you don't know what that means, it means you have to pick the heroes for your opponents. It's reverse captain's mode, basically. So you're forcing your opponents to use crappy heroes that don't really fit the, the style very well. And normally when you play a reverse captain's mode, you just pick a lot of carries that don't lane well together. But with WTF, things are a little different. It's very based off of your abilities, more so than um, the type of hero you are. Or what your role is, for example. You want to preferably have a ranged disable or a ranged nuke. As we saw last game, Brood, Broodmother was really, really strong and able to snowball. We found that Visage is really not that good of a ranged nuker, based on... Um, his soul assumption is not very useful when spammed, unfortunately for him. Um, grave chill can be useful though. I think you should get at least one level of grave chill, probably one grave chill, um, max of the soul assumption with the armor, something like that. Ricky Maru also not the best early game hero, so. Uh, but I think Ricky is better than other heroes like Anti Mage. You can spam Cloud and prevent them from blinking and things like that, so they they are usable. So. Uh, Meepo is going to be the draft, finally, for ASD that they're going to have to work with. So right now they just basically have nets and right-click damage. Um, there are a couple other rules that are going on behind the scenes. BKB is banned, Dagon is banned, Shiva's is banned, Lincoln's Sphere is banned, and Midas is banned. That's correct. Um, there are no hero bans because you're picking for your opponents. So technically, there's no hero that should be forced out. It's your loss if you pick your opponent a good hero. And it has been the case early, uh, pretty much with many, many games today. Um, let one good hero slip through, like Axe or... Uh, Broodmother, and if your opponents play them well, they will stop you with them. That's what's going to happen. So We're on to the banning stage again. Klinx is the next ban. Not a very good hero, but once he hits 6, he can actually farm quite well. Um, the point after that where you farm well is uh, has not been extremely well done thus far, but uh, more and more bans from ASD. They literally don't want to ban any bad heroes because they want all the bad heroes to be in the pool makes the game a lot more even, because if anybody gets any disables, it can swing quite easily. If everybody's forced to play with terrible heroes with no disable, it makes the game a lot harder for you. Or at least makes it a lot more even. This is the finals once again. I believe this is a best of one. Winner takes all. Skrillex is anime versus ASD. And uh, who will the last couple heroes be? Um, there's a lot of crappy heroes left. Uh, Slark is, yeah, Slark is a good enough hero. He could be played. Um, who do we got left over? I almost said Warlock, but that's completely wrong. I think Troll Warlord would be kind of almost crappy, but not so much. Um, you could probably spam axes and farm really fast. Uh, Shadow Fiend, Tidehunter, Shadow Fiend's a good example, though. Um, Lone Druid is way out. Do not draft Sniper. That would be a mistake. Luna would be good enough, especially once she hits six. There are, there's honestly plenty of decent heroes. We've seen some PA squeak in occasionally. I, she might make it here. Who knows? Um, Spirit Breaker could maybe see some play. That's possible. Um, other than that, is Huskar in? Yeah, Huskar is in. PA gets banned as well, so Skrillex does not want to deal with the PL. And Keeper of the Light is going to be the pick. He's one of the few support heroes that doesn't have a decent disable. He can actually nuke, which can be a little scary, but you can't really spam it that fast because normally you want to channel it up a bit. Budge is going to be drafted now for ASD. 
Um, Pudge is actually an okay hero. He can't get a blink. Wow, they picked Triant. No way. I can't believe this. I think this is a big mistake from ASD. We've seen Triant Protector make big, big plays so far today just based on Living Armor. If they can get this guy some EXP, he can just spam Living Armor on all of his friends, and then they take no damage. This blocks magic damage now. It blocks tower hits. It blocks everything, as far as I know. I might not do towers, but I'm pretty sure it does everything else. Magic as well as uh, physical damage. I think this is a huge mistake, especially if Triant can hypothetically hit 6. I think... Um, Skrillex's anime has a huge advantage over ASD, and I think this pick right here is going to throw everything that they just did into complete whack. I honestly think there's many, many heroes that are better. Well, all right. On the bright side, Triant doesn't have an offensive damage nuke, similar to, like, I don't know, Hook or something, but his defensive capabilities are bar none, and he can do that in base completely safe. So I think this is going to put make things a little weird. I don't know what heroes are left over here. I'm looking at the... A different tab that has all the heroes pulled up, and there's not a lot of crappy heroes left over, but, I mean, it's looking scary. Triumph Protector really does give you a really nice early game advantage, um, at probably the entire game. And if he does hypothetically hit 6, he's going to have ultis, and ultis means perma and tangle, which means anti mage will die, Lycan will not be able to run away, Meepo will most likely have issues as well, so um, I think Triumph Protector is a great hero for this mode to be completely honest. He's one of the only heroes that actually has a team fight ulti that anybody has been letting through all day. And Wisp is going to be the last hero pick, and I think that is the right choice. I think Skrillex has outdrafted ASD. Um, it's not completely sure. It does give ASD some nukes, but Wisp should be a one of the final heroes to draft up um, out of all of them. He should be a late pick like this. Skrillex is going to have to rely on Ricky Blink as well as Visage, as well as Keeper of the Light in the early game with Trium Protector. Um, to keep people alive, uh, Huskar is going to have a heal as well, which won't be terrible, and hopefully he's going to run around just ulting a bunch of people. We'll see how things go, though. For the rainy team, Team Skrillex, they are they are literally changing up their image every game. This is awesome. Um, this is Gabe, as well as uh, Skrillex in the middle, and this is Steve Jobs. So, Gabe Newell, of course. Alright, so we've got Ultimate Sexy Naruto playing Trim Protector. We've got some Russian characters playing uh, Huskar. Cat Captain Fest is playing uh, Keeper of the Light. Dororo is playing the Ricky, and finally Lazita is playing the Visage for the Dire team. Anti Mage is going all over the place. Maglev Noob Train, ha ha ha. He's playing the Anti Mage. Looking around for some vision. He's going to look for some enemy heroes. I think he's scouting things out. I don't know if this is really accomplishing. You know, one really cool thing he can do is kill the courier, and I think this might be what he's waiting for. So he got it! Oh, damn, he got it! Got the courier. Oh man, that was so epic. One cool thing you can do with the anti mage. Damn, dude, it was not in the fountain. Big mistake from Skrillex here to let him uh, give that option, and he's just being annoying in base. He can't actually kill anything other than a courier, but that's some gold advantage going to the dire team. Alright, let's go over the dire team. I haven't covered them all yet. Anti mage is Megalove Noob Train. I did that. Is he even getting mana drained? He is. Um. Maglev, the actual Maglev gank train is playing Io on the top lane in the jungle with Bob 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 playing the Lycanthrope. And they're off. Got uh, Zaz Zaz DX playing Pudge, and the last player is going to be King Jab Jambon playing the Meepo. So that is all the players. No more I imagine um, he's already got the. Oh, that counts for a CS, that's funny. He's already got the, uh, the courier kill. From now on, he's probably just going to run around and look at stuff, I'm assuming. Pudge is invis here. He might try to get a kill. Will he be able to, is the question. Here come the hooks. If he goes on him, he's probably going to want to do Coddle, I would assume, but this is a little dangerous. There's the first hook, second hook, third hook, fourth hook, fifth hook, sixth hook, seventh hook, eighth hook. He's going to get a kill first blood. ASD starting things off right. He didn't miss a single one of his pure damage hooks. It was reduced by the Triumph Protector, but... Pudge is throwing a hook. They want to fight him, but they just have such terrible reach. In the meantime, Io is uh, farming on the top lane. He's going to pick up level 2 already. That's going to help out quite a bit. Dire Team is doing a great job right now. Look at the Rainy Team. They're just trying to 5-man in the mid lane, but I don't think this is a good strategy at the moment. I honestly think they need to spread out and get some EXP or something. Nuke him, nuke him, nuke him, nuke him, nuke him. There you go. Man, you can just want so much. Look at these hooks picking off the Huskar. Pudge is just rumbling with everybody. Anti-Mage is going in. He's got the mana drain. 
The cloak, or the cloud is down. Wow, and Meepo just entangled them all. They're going to be able to honestly just take them out. Here comes more hooks. Can they grab them? And anti is going to get a kill, I think. Just has to go high ground. There he is. Goes on the cuddle. Ricky as well being chased. They want to put down the smoke. They want to cast anything, but they can't. Anti-Mage is going for the mana drain. Ricky, I think, is going to go down, and they're stomping right now. 5-0. and oh. I can't believe it. But ASD is just absolutely crapping on them with their heroes. Trion's still getting some EXP mid, but he's got to worry about the hook. The level 2 hook's going to land, and he's in trouble. Ultimate Sexy Naruto's going to go down. Pudge is on. An ultra kill streak, hitting level 3 now. He's got a flesh heap as well. No HP region, but in the meantime, the rest of ASD is pushing the top lane. And they're doing tower damage. Huskar, still a worthless hero, and Coddle, with just mana leak, is, cannot really do that much. They have such little ranged damage, it's literally just Visage Nuke. And even Anti-Mage is blinking around level 4. I don't know why he skilled this, other range goes up a little bit. Grabs the Coddle, looking for more hooks. He's trying to grab, it's only a matter of time, he's juking so hard, but... Damn, how did he dodge all those? That was insane. There's the first cloud. This could be bad for Pudge. Grave chill. Oh, he really needed the grave chill there. Ricky is still level one, unfortunately. They can keep the smoke cloud up and keep Pudge silence with some right clicks. Oh, he's gonna hook him again. Grabs the Ricky. Pudge is not done yet. He wants to hit level six pretty soon. Here he's gonna have it. Hits level five and a half. More pushing on the top lane. ASD is just stomping their opponents right now, ten to zero, and pretty soon things are gonna be out of control. Coddle is gonna be able to pick up Illuminate at least, but. Did Mana Leak really do enough early? I don't think it did. They just haven't spread. Oh, he got him again. What just happened? I don't know why that got stopped. Probably because he threw a new hook. Oh, he's going to find Ricky. He's doing the right clicks. Ricky is doing the blink strikes. He does have the tree. Oh, man, another nice hook. Almost got the anti-mage kill here. Anti-mage is looking for a courier, checking to see where it is. It's actually in the fountain. So he will not be able to grab the kill. More blink strikes. Can he chain it? He's trying to get the anti-mage. More blink strikes. He's just popping a wand every single time. The wand cooldown is also zero, so wand is very, very useful here. He's literally just walking away. Is he trying to blink? He is. Okay, he's going to get out. Really close. If that blink strike was a higher level, could have seen a kill. If they got a kill. Pudge is now level 70. Actually, he's just completely skipping his ulti here. Does not care about it very much. He has a total 18, a bonus 18 strength. He's got 3,800 gold in the bank right now. They actually don't have a courier, believe it or not. We'll see if uh, the Meepo buys one. But man, are they just doing a great job this game. Trouble brewing at Radiant's bottom tower. Level 8 on Pudge. See if he maxes out the flush heap. Still has no regen. If his nukes have started, a little bit of burning happening. Huskar still crap hero, turns out. Man, he is bad. Such a bad hero. At level one. Here come the hooks. Throws one, grabs him, but he keeps throwing him too early. The first hook, you have to let it sag a little bit, or fly. This is weird. That was really weird. The hooks. This game looks kind of over. He's mini stunning him. Well, I think they might be losing. Can you just like teleport permanently with this? Radiance mid towers getting banged. Interesting. Well, Meepo's now farming a bit. He's got treads. Anti-Mage actually has no items. Oh, he gets trapped in. Oh, this is so bad for him. He actually has a Quelling Blade that's going to get him out for just a second. Wiss is doing a ton of spirit damage. hustler has got to run for his life. He might have to turn and fight this, but Wiss actually leaves. Gets sent back out. Hook's going to miss. Anti-Mage ulti literally does nothing but mini-stun. Oh, another Hook's going to land. Kahlo goes down. Pudge might die from this. We'll see. He's spamming the wand. Oh my god, the double hook. 
Just kills here. Oh, he grabs the Treon. Rampage on the Pudge. Level 9. Will he get any rot? Does it even matter? He buys a Heart of Tresk recipe. <laughs> oh my god, I don't even want to see his HP after he finishes this. Man, surprisingly, the Treon honestly didn't make the difference. I was, I'm was, i really surprised about this. I, I honestly thought the Living Armor would do enough here, but it has not. Let's see Wisp die, or get a kill on the, the Huskar, sorry. And is Meepo stacking or something? No, he's just kind of hanging out. Anti-Mage is trying to keep him in the base. Picks up a Ghost Scepter. Good choice, actually, against the Ricky. This is a perma ghost scepter, by the way. Oops. He's gonna take some nukes here. He can get a wand as fast as he can pop magic stick. Like, there's literally no way for them to kill him, except for Coddle Blast. This Ricky is honestly gonna die. This is ridiculous. Turns out Wand and Ghost Scepter make you really hard to kill, guys. Pudge will end up dying, though. Ricky goes down as well. Buyback from Pudge. Good game is called by Dororo. They haven't taken any Raxes yet, but they have so much map control. And now Pudge has 2,800 HP. Just going to continue. Oh, with I see. He's got a Ghost Scepter now as well. Wisp is pretty strong here. Look at that damage. And now the fountain camping. That's it. So. Oh. Skrillex's anime not able to take it to the finals. Well, they took it to the finals. They just didn't end up winning it. Man, that Wisp damage. That AoE is so huge. But really it was the Pudge that made the plays. He got the first couple kills. He had a ranged nuke. Was able to score kills. And once they got that EXP advantage, it was just over. There it is. EB finally picked up. The legal Dagon. Oh no, Meepo! It's a little bit of pinging. It's like in doing. He's pushing. It's like, let's push, guys. Did they win? Did they win, guys? I think they're rage quitting. Oh my god, the damage. Into mage, man. OP hero, apparently. Gold seems to be such a non-factor in this. It's really just EXP more than anything else. Helps so much. Hey, Lycan's joining the party, guys. Okay, Treant, do it. Do it, Treant, just leave. I'm surprised nobody takes Roshan. You can take Roshan quite easily. Oh, this is why he's buying Yasha's for agility. You should just get... I guess that's like... Is that the best agility item in the fountain you can buy? You get like a Manta style or something. Oh, 
All right, they're all out. That's it. That's the game. <laughs> that went on. Maybe. Well, you can't make an ethereal blade in base, guys, because you need the eagle song. But individually, that's the biggest agility item. So that's it. ASD is going to take the win against Skrillex. It didn't take too long there. Um, nice and fast. Pudge snowballed really hard using hooks. And at that point, there wasn't a whole lot the rating team could do. They just didn't have, didn't have enough damage. Maybe they could have done it if Keeper of Light got illuminated at level 1, but even still, Huskar is worthless. Um, Ricky is kind of bad before he gets his Blink Strike maxed up, and I, I think I think Skrillex maybe didn't spread out enough, honestly. Like, they did get Snowballed on, but they all were sitting mid, and I think they were too worried. Like, it's not like ASD had that much nuke damage. Like, yeah, sure, Pudge hooking people would have sucked, but if they would have spread out more and gotten their own EXP, get Ricky to, like, level 4 or level 5... Um, then I think they could have probably had him be their damage dealer. They needed Ricky to do the damage, honestly, uh, more than anybody else. Nobody else was going to do it on their team. And that was that was maybe one of the good things that ASD did. They didn't give them any heroes that could snowball really well. Ricky can't really snowball because he can't snowball at level 1. He can drop clouds or blink strike, but preferably he has both. And he can't do that with level 1, whereas a Pudge can, kind of. So getting uh, getting the other extra EXP really helped him out a lot. So I think that's uh, that's why they won. So... All right, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. And uh, if you guys want to know more about me, I am Purge. I'm a Dota 2 content maker. I almost said caster, but I like almost never cast anymore. Um, and uh, yeah, go follow me on Facebook or Twitter at Purge Gamers. I can show you guys all my overlay stuff right now. This is the ATOD tournament. Thanks to Cyborg Matt for organizing. It was really fun. Um, not too much downtime. Really, really low downtime, actually. It was run quite well. And uh, that was it. I don't know what the prizes are. Let me see what were prizes. Oh shit, close the chat window. Damn it. Oh my god, I have to go in here now and I have to go over here and find him and then Cybrog send a message. What were prizes? Anything? Question mark. Oh damn. That's what happens when you link other people's streams. Don't do that guys, that's lame. Um ten keys. Damn, that's pretty good. They got ten keys out of that. That's nice. That's a solid prize. That's like $25. So congrats to ASD for the keys. Thanks everybody for tuning in. And I think that's going to be it for my broadcast today. Um, if you guys want to watch any YouTube videos of mine, uh, I have a lot of gameplay commentaries and stuff. Go to youtube.com slash purge gamers. Go check those out. Um, oftentimes I will teach you things in them, but sometimes I mostly just play games. Cool. No, 10 keys total probably. So two keys a person. 10 keys each would be crazy. All right, thanks everyone for watching. I'm um, going to some ads and then.